Here we are deciding if a pairing from group 1 to group 2 is a function or not a function. In group 1 we are given x, domain, independent, and input variable. While in group 2 we have y, range, dependent, and output variable. x is not equal to the domain, which is not equal to independent, which is not equal to input variable, but they are similar. So for this lesson we can consider them interchangeable. Same with the uh, uh, words in group 2. So is the pairing from group 1 to group 2 a function? Here we have in the x group 0, 1, and 2, while in the y uh, group we have 5 and 7. We see that 0 is sent to 5, and 1 and 2 are both sent to 7. That is acceptable for a group or a mapping to be a function. Same with input, output, independent and dependent, or domain and range. That would be an acceptable mapping or pairing for it to be a function. What is not a function? Well, what's not a function is if one x value is set to two different y values. That is not a function. The same thing if we had a domain with two different ranges, or independent to two different dependent variables, or input to output variables. Okay. But this works for numbers. How can we remember it in real life? Well, let's pretend that the pairing from x to y is asking someone out on a date. It would be acceptable for Jim and Joe to both ask out Laura on a date that we would consider that pairing an acceptable answer, and Laura would then have to choose who she would want to go out on a date with. So this pairing would be a function. What would not be a function is if Joe asked out both Laura and Catherine at, his, at the same time. Since Joe is a greedy person and tried to ask out Laura and Catherine at the same time, we consider that pairing not a functional, a function and not acceptable. Hope this lesson helped you understand the difference between a function and not a function pairing.